All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites from the Great Millstone uh, Camp of Indianapolis, Indiana. We're here to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kapadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who rule well. Uh, salutations to them and our fellow uh, brethren who labor in this truth week in and week out. Also, I uh, want to give uh, salutations to uh, the uh, hopeful elect of Israel who are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, and they are, list, are listed. The tribe of Judah, who is the so-called Negroes, the tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians, the tribe of Levi, so-called Haitians, the tribe of Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, the tribe of Zebulon, that's the so-called Guatemalans to Panamanians, the tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans, the tribe of Manasseh, the so-called Cubans, the tribe of Gad, uh, the so-called North American Indians, the tribe of Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians, the tribe of Nathali, the so-called Argentinians to Chileans, the tribe of Asher, the so-called Colombians to Uruguayans, and the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. To you, we say Shalom, and we're just going to get right into it. Okay. All right, this is Romans. Chapter 13, starting at verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. All right, man, so you come to some, into some days, you know, where it would behoove you to repent, because, you know, the Lord is coming back soon, and before the Lord comes back, you know, all hell is going to break loose, all right? And it says, uh, and, that, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, all right? Sleeping, all right. You know, you're, you're not in the knowledge of your house watching your shy, all right. You're not following his ways, you know, doing what's pleasing to him, all right. For mm -hmm. now, is our salvation nearer than we believe, all right. So it's best, you know, you know, walk up or come out of the ways of this world, you know, start following the ways of your house watching your shy because you know, you don't want to get caught up in the mess that the world is going to get caught up in, all right. That's right. Yeah. Can somebody hold uh, uh, Micah chapter 2, verse 10? I got, a quick, I got a quick precept come for y'all. Uh, this is Isaiah 55 and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Right, while he may be found. That's right. Implying there's a time when he's not going to be found, all right? Go ahead. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah, call, call ye upon him while he is near. And he's near right now, all right? He's speaking to his prophets. So it will behoove you to take heed to what the prophets are saying because ultimately it's not us speaking to you, all right? It's the Lord speaking to you through us, all right? That's right. Come on. Got a little bit more, uh, one more verse. Verse 7. It says, Let the wicked forsake his way mm -hmm. and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And that wicked is talking about you Israelites, all right? Because according to Hebrews 12 and 6, we know Esau is the wicked, but he's not able to repent, all right? Can you know, right. read that first part again for me? Yeah, uh, this is Isaiah 55, verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Mm -hmm. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him. And to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Right, you got to forsake your own way and your own thoughts because that's going into your own understanding. And when into your own understanding, it's going to get you killed in the latter days, all right? So you got to repent because it says he will abundantly pardon, all right? And to pardon means to forgive. So he's going to forgive you if you come to him in truth and sincerity, all right? That's right. That's right, bro. Yeah. Yeah, this is Proverbs 20. I'm going to start at. Uh, Start at 12. The hearing the ear is the seeing eye the Lord hath made even both of them. Mm -hmm. Love not sleep, least thou come to privately open, privately open thy eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. All right, man. Love not sleep, all right? And what is what can you, what can you, uh, uh, what is sleep? Changeable, all right. The way of this world, because the way the ways of this world is darkness, all right. And can you read that second part for me again, brother? Love not sleep, least thou come to poverty. Poverty, open thy eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. All right, open thy eyes, all right. And ultimately, the Lord has to open your eyes for you to see things for what they truly are, all right. He has to bring you into the fold, all right. You know, show you His ways. You know how you're supposed to conduct yourself day in day out, all right. So. You uh, uh, if you love sleep, man, you gonna get caught up in like a lot of messed up stuff. You know, you don't want to be a part of that, all right? Sure. All right. Got another precept, y'all. Uh, this is 
Sirach uh, 5 and 7. It says, uh, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Right. Make no tarrying, all right? You know, you come across the promise, you know, one day, oh, I'll be back next week. You know, we're going by, you ain't here. I'll be back next month. A month is going by, you ain't here. All right? The scriptures say, a time and chance happen to us all, all right? That's right, right, bro. Because the Lord, the Lord, he, it's not guaranteed that you're going to have that many chances to repent. That first time you walk across the prophets might be your first and last time. And the Lord might end up killing you, all right? That's right, bro. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> it says, uh, uh, this is where I'm going to start at the top again. Sirach uh, 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Mm -hmm. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. All right, for suddenly. All right, so we least expect it. That's when the Lord is going to take you out. Can you repeat, uh, repeat that last part? Yeah, come on. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Mm -hmm. In thy security thy thou shalt be destroyed. In thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Nice job, nice house, nice car, and whatnot. You think you're living the life? The Lord can take all that way and snap that. And That's he can destroy you just like that. That's right. That's right. And perish in the day of vengeance. And perish in the day of vengeance, all right? All right. Uh, uh, all right. This is uh, the book of Second Ezra, chapter 9, beginning in verse 9. And it reads Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. All right, so the Lord brought you across the prophets, all right? Because at the end of the day, man is going to honor the Lord. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that for me? Read the scripture again. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in their torments. And they that have cast them away despitefully. So you hate the law of the Lord. You hate the word of the Lord. He, that was him showing you mercy. You just slapped his hand away, all right? That's right. All right, keep going. Okay, verse 10. For such as in their life have received benefits. Mm -hmm. Benefits, all right. You got all the good stuff, all right. You know, all the clothes, you know, the good cars and stuff, all right. You got all the benefits, but you don't want to follow the ways of your house by sitting outside. You don't even know that it was the Lord that blessed you with that. That's right, God. God. Scriptures say, 